hi this is shubham from monist you and today in this podcast we gonna discuss about six way to diversify your portfolio over here we gonna discuss six important key parameter based on your portfolio selection to diversify your portfolio if you want to read the full article about this in the link of article provided in description also if you want to watch the quick summary video of this episode then subscribe to our youtube channel monist you so let's start portfolio diversification is a process of investing your money in a different types of a investment investing across various asset classes helps you in risk diversification as well moreover you can also get exposure to the profit potential of a different asset classes and maximize your investment return so here is the big question how you can diversify your portfolio so let's discuss the six important factors based on which you can diversify your portfolio the first factor is a diversification based on asset classes this perhaps the most common type of a risk diversification strategy under this method you can choose to invest in a different types of asset classes an asset class is a group of investment avenues that have a similar risk return profile some of the asset classes available for portfolio diversification are first equity funds like a mutual fund stock and etf the second one is a debt funds like a bond government security the third one is a fixed income instruments like a fixed deposit public provident fund national savings certificate the fourth one is a real asset such as buying a plot of a land or investing in a property and the fifth one is a commodities or metals such as gold and silver the second key factor for diversification is based on a capitalization this mode of diversification of a risk is applicable if you are investing in equity funds market capitalization is the company's value on the stock exchange that is the number of outstanding shares multiplied by the market value of the share there are three type of a company in the stock market these are large cap mid cap and small cap large cap companies are those company that establish and have strong fundamental therefore they are a truly enough weather out the market cycle mid cap company are in the growth phase and they have a good potential of a yielding return lastly small cap company are those that are in their development stage and rank below a mid cap companies on the stock exchange while they can offer an exceptionally good returns in uptrend and they also prone to considerably price fluctuation large cap investments tend to have a lower risk while the small cap investment tend to have a highest risk therefore you can choose to allocate your investment in across the stock and security based on the market capitalization diversify your risk and enhance the scope of return the third key factor for diversification is based on sector and industry while investing in equity diversification can done across the different sectors since the growth cycle vary across the different sector this method of risk diversification help minimize the investment risk for example during a covid-19 pandemic in 2020 even when the stock markets are crashed stocks of pharmaceutical and fmcg company offered a good return comparatively to other sectors so by diversifying your portfolio across the different sector you can earn returns from some companies even when there is a downtrend in the market the fourth key factor for diversification is based on a geography by investing in a sim- single country when you can expand your horizon stock of established companies like google apple and amazon are not listed in india to bank the growth of these companies you need an exposure to international market the economies of a different countries grow differently geography based risk diversification means investing in a different economic and diversification of your returns for example you can invest in usa and its growing economy you will get a considerable return imagine a portfolio where you are having a reliance industry from india tesla from usa renewable growth stocks from germany and semiconductor company of a taiwan that's what give you diversification through a geography the fifth important factor for diversification is based on investment style you can also choose from a different investment style for diversification risk there are three types of investment strategy the first one is a growth in this strategy you can invest in company that can grow faster compared to average markets the second one is a value in this strategy you identify company with a solid fundamental but undervalued stock you can invest in such companies on the premise that when the market identify the worth of such company their stock price will grow and will earn return in the process the third one is a index in this strategy you track particular index for example say you consider nifty 50 to be the benchmark index now you can 
can invest your money in the stock listed on Nifty 50 and that too in the same proportion in this type of investment the returns are directly based on the performance of the index. The sixth key factor for diversification is based on risk appetite. Risk appetite is the level of risk that an investor is prepared to accept in pursuit of his investment objective. There are few instruments based on risk appetite for an investor. The first one is a fixed deposit. An instrument of investment FD is considered as a very less risky as compared to the other option, mostly suitable for a lower risk taking investor who is in later stage of a life. The second one is a business. Over here we are counting on traditional business model for actual building and running a business for likelihood. The third option available is the stock market, the direct investment in listed business with a proper due diligence with conviction. The fourth one is a startups, comparatively very risky with an investment as a VC for long term vision for a huge profit margin view in a future. So now let's discuss what is the bottom line over here. Portfolio diversification is key for diversifying risk based on a different criteria. It can be based on asset class, capitalization, sector, geography, investment style and risk appetite. But the ultimate goal is to maximize returns over long horizon. If you want to read the full article about this in the link of article provided in description. Also if you want to watch a quick summary video of this podcast for less than 90 seconds then subscribe to our YouTube channel Monist View. Thank you guys for joining for this podcast. Here Shubham from Monist View signing off. Thank you. Thank you.